Muslims gathered at the Sa Ali Sports Club to mark the end of the month of Ramadan. In Garissa, Moyale, Marsabit, to Mombasa and other parts of the country, Muslims congregated to mark the end of the month-long fasting period. Ramadan ni miongoni nguzo moja miongoni manguzo tano ya dini ya Kiislamu ambaye Mwenyezi Mungu amewajibishia kwa Waislamu wote. We met up with 24-year-old Abdul Rizak Jel Haji at his Isili home. He together with friends and family sharing a meal to mark the end of the month of Ramadan. For Abdul, fasting has become a preferred way of life, one that as he says boosts his faith. We are supposed to fast during the Ramadan so that you know we uphold our, uh, our faith to a higher level. Not lost to Abdul are the negative practices associated with elements within the Islamic faith. For him, gains made through the month of Ramadan should be held on to by all Muslims even after Ramadan. And as you go on, one full month you practice that thing. When you go outside with it, then that means you still will have that character. You know, something you've practiced, practice, practice, make perfect. Messages similar to these of goodwill were spread throughout the Muslim world with those who have sharing with the less fortunate ones in the society by donating goats and other foodstuffs to the poor. Spiritual messages, a mirror of the spiritual being. Across the borders, Muslims held joint prayers in major capitals around the world as a way of marking the end of Ramadan. U.S. President Barack Obama wished Muslims a blessed and joyful celebration, citing the traditions of Ramadan as ones that serve as a reminder to be grateful and compassionate. And in Egypt, political divisions between supporters and opponents of deposed President Mohamed Morsi are casting a shadow on courtyards dedicated for Eid prayers. This year, separate open spaces have been allocated for supporters and opponents of the ousted president to perform the prayers in different regions in Egypt. The barbed wire and armored vehicles in the streets of downtown Cairo and the barricades around Islamist protest camps attesting to the dangerous political edge to the festivities. Chris Wongombe, Citizen, live at 9.